Regent Cajun. Regent Cajun. Accompanied at ringside by his manager, Billy Spears. His opponent, 230 pounds from Pensacola, Florida, Ricky Gibson. Gibson. Your ring official, Larry Brock. Hey, Ricky Gibson starting it off here against the Raging Cajun, and you can see the manager, Billy Spears, in the ring, having a few words to start it off with uh, Ricky Gibson. Gibson says, why don't you sit down in your chair? And uh, let's see, Larry Brock trying to get a little bit of organization going in there. Flip of the uh, wrist to Mr. Cajun, and here's Al Roberts to tell you all about it, Al. Ricky Gibson. One fall, 10 minute time limit. Billy Spears. Cajun's manager at ringside in a chair. And you can believe that Ricky Gibson will have an eye on Billy Spears as he tries to handle one of Billy Spears' Cajuns. A leg lock takedown by Ricky Gibson was broken by the ropes as occasion made it to the ropes. Action in the ring, Ricky Gibson and the Cajun. First action on this edition of Gulf Coast Wrestling. Welcome everyone. Good card lined up. Ken Lucas, Kurt Von Hess, the wrestling pro and the Houdini of professional wrestling. You met him at the start of the program. Johnny Eagle will be on TV. So stay with us. Right now, Ricky Gibson has the arm lock. And the hammer lock on the cage. And there he goes, taking care of Billy Spears on the outside, too. He's got his hands full. We will say that. Nice takedown by Gibson. Goes into the head scissors, continues the arm bar on the left arm of the Cajun. Ricky Gibson from Pensacola, Florida. The Raging Cajun from New Orleans, Louisiana. Gibson applies the pressure in the Cajun. Screaming out in pain. Gibson still applying the pressure. The Cajun's head is beginning to turn a different shade red right now. <laughs> Billy Spears at ringside says, get your knee on his feet. You can get out that way. But the Cajun cannot get the leverage he needs. Now he's up, breaks the hole, goes for the headlock, can't quite do it. Gibson slips out, goes into the hammerlock from the front side. Now wraps up the figure four, leg drop by the Cajun. Gibson picks him over the top. Good move by Ricky Gibson. The Cajun has had enough for a minute. Steps outside the ring and listens to his manager, Billy Spears, give him a few pointers. Oh, look at the move by Ricky Gibson. He goes high with the feet, comes around again. Look at that takedown. Continues to hold the wrist lock. On the raging Cajun. Cajun leaned over, had the count of two on Gibson, but Gibson finally got around and kicked him back. Billy Spears is up. Ricky Gibson will take an occasional look at Spears. Of course, referee Larry Brock has double duty, too, trying to watch a match and a man outside the ring. Cajun's up again. The count of one, the count of two. The Cajun using the rope for leverage. The count of one, the count of two. Looks up again. Using the ropes again. But this time Gibson comes back, kicks him back. Now the Cajun drapes his feet over the ropes. Forcing the break, but Gibson won't break it clean that time. Drags that foot down the forehead. Both of them are up. On the rope. Referee calls for the break. Clean break this time. 
All right, they lock up. Cajun using the hair into the turnbuckle, comes right with a forearm, another forearm, one more time. Then a body toss in the turnbuckle, Gibson hits awful hard. Cajun starting to move on now, has a forearm, one more body toss, off he comes, back body drop on Ricky Gibson from the Cajun. Cajun on top of the pin, a count of one, that's all. Gibson bridges out. Body toss again. Gibson holds on, comes back with a feet, down goes the Cajun. Body slam by Ricky Gibson. Up on top, step over, toe hold, wraps him up. Look at this. Count of one, the count of two, the count of three, that's it. Billy Spears knew it. Billy Spears knew it. When he saw Gibson with a toe hold, he wrapped it up, started to walk away. He knew that was it. Ricky Gibson, the winner of our first match. He's got a lot more action coming your way. Please stay with us.